Hello everyone, chapter 4 part 2, this is the process to, de to design the vertical shear reinforcement for rectangular beam. Our first step is to determine the VED. VED is determined or calculated by anal beam analysis using the design load 1.35 GK plus 1.5 QK. And then you draw shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So the VED is determined from the shear force diagram as you learned in chapter 3. The next procedure, the next step is to determine the concrete strut capacity. Determine concrete strut capacity. So for angle 22 degree and angle 45 degree as recommended by the Euro code, the V, the resistance for the shear is given by this equation Okay. This is the actual shear, shear value from the 1.35 GK plus 1.5 QK and this is the resistance, the optimum shear value. Okay, So for the angle 22 degree, the code is, code theta for this angle is 2.5. And for angle 45 degree, the cot theta is 1.0. So I will show you later uh, how to read this angle. Okay, so this is our second step for vertical shear reinforcement design. So the next step is by do the checking is VED this VED less or equal to VRD where the maximum cot theta is 2.5 the maximum angle is 22 degree okay so there are two answer here either yes or no so the first this is yes and no no yes Okay. If yes, we will proceed to the area of shear reinforcement. If yes, so I, I think I need a very long arrow arrow here. Yeah? Okay. Yes, so bring down. Yes. So then finally calculate. area of shear reinforcement okay calculate area for shear reinforcement and the equation as given here 
ASW divided by S VED divided by 0.78 FYK multiply with D multiply with code theta So then, after calculate area of shear reinforcement, we check for the minimum link requirement. So the minimum link requirement, minimum links required. Okay, this is the equation ASW divided by S. Equal to 0 0.08 BW multiply with this value divided by FYK. The second checking is to determine the maximum spacing using this equation 0 0.75D. The next one is if there is additional longitudinal tensile force additional longitudinal tensile force so the equation is As given here okay V E D code theta okay after uh, after calculate the area of shear reinforcement so we need to determine the minimum area minimum link sorry minimum list required the maximum spacing and also the additional longitudinal tensile force. So this is the process when VED is less than VRD. What if VED is more is uh, less than VRD but the code theta is equal to one? The, the the angle is 45 so this angle the first the first checking is to check either the angle for angle 22 degree if is it this situation meets if no we need to check for the 45 degree angle so if no so our next steps for this checking is is VED less than VRD for the maximum code theta equal to 1 where for if code theta equal to 1 meaning the angle is 45 degree if yes if yes we proceed to the next step we calculate theta equal to 0 Okay, determine the angle using this equation. Okay, so where the
Well, the range of this data, the range of this data, this is for VED less than V R D maxima where theta is 45 degree and theta is 22.5 degree the angle Okay, then once we calculate, after we calculate this, then we proceed to this step and continue until this equation. Then if we go back to this part, what if no? If this requirement, if it doesn't meet this requirement, so you need to redesign the section. Redesign the section. Okay, redesign the section. Okay, so uh, I will show you how to read the, the angle here. Okay, so I will show you how to read the angle here. So let's say this is the let's see, and this is the cross section. Cross section. Of the steel reinforcement, con concrete steel reinforcement, and this is the secondary beam, and below is the main beam. The tension beam. So we have this is the vertical shear reinforcement. Okay. So this is this one is the longitudinal reinforcement in tension. And this is the vertical shear reinforcement. And our angle, the angle is, and this is the angle. This is the straight line. From this point to this point, this is the straight line. So this is the angle. So this is the angle if 22.5. Uh, angle 22.5, the code theta is equal to 2.5. And if this angle is 45 degree, the code theta is equal to 1. Okay, that's all for the vertical shear reinforcement. Thank you.